We're here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. This is one of many of our fields that we have filled with Norway spruces. We have thousands of trees, plants, and shrubs. And this, this farm is located on Route 313 in Bucks County. We deliver and plant our Norway spruces and white pine trees and other trees up and down the East Coast. And we are able to deliver and plant to you from North Carolina to Boston and as far west we go as Pittsburgh. We're, we're a family run business, we have quite a few locations and we also have hunting opportunities for the people that like to hunt, fish, camp, look for arrowheads, hunt for fossils or meteorites. So give us a call at 215-651-8329 for your tree and shrub needs. These are some of our ornamental grasses that we have for you here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. We have a wide selection of grasses and you can come and pick them up or we can deliver. We do deliver and plant uh, our nursery stock up and down the east coast. We have a wide selection of nursery stock as you can see. We have a couple hundred acres here in Fountainville and we have a couple thousand acres in Bradford County. And and we ship all over the East Coast. We go to Virginia, Delaware, Maryland, Pennsylvania, New York, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, up and down the East Coast. We also ship a lot of seedlings that we grow throughout the nation. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. We have a wide selection of evergreens, grasses, perennials, we specialize in these. These are green giant arborvitas. We have tens of thousands of green giant arborvitas that we grow. These are our three foot plants. We have specials all the time. So give us a call at 215-651-8329 to hear about our great plant specials that we have. If you need tractor trailer loads of material, we can do it. We can supply it. Again, 215-651-8329. We're here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. I'm Bill Hurst doing the photography. I own the uh, Highland Hill Farm. And this is Mike Lewis of Lewis Wholesale Nursery. Mike is one of the premier growers that we use here at Highland Hill Farm. We also grow a lot of arborvitas, but we, we uh, are supplied by Mike. He's right across the street from our nursery and our, our operation. And Mike is, is an expert on raising arborvitas. Mike went and graduated from the Longwood School in uh, uh, Chester County, Pennsylvania. And he's a, a premier grower in Pennsylvania, world-renowned grower. Now, I shouldn't say that, but that is the truth. Everyone in the northeast Pennsylvania and the uh, eastern seaboard who raises arborvitas and, and nursery stock knows Mike Lewis here. So he's well-known. And he's going to talk to you today about arborvita trimming and how to trim them properly. And these are small arborvitas, a zebrina, green giant, and an emerald green. Okay, Mike. All right, what you want to do with your arborvitae is, when you prune them, you want to encourage them to have a single stem. Just one stem coming up out of the middle, like right here. What you want to do is knock back some of these extra stems. Here in the Northeast, we get a lot of wet, heavy snow. And if you have too many stems, they have a tendency to pull apart. Most of the time, they'll spring back, but sometimes you might get some breakage. So what we like to do is take the head shears and knock these tips back just a little bit, which will encourage a fuller, fatter plant, as well as keeping it up into a single stem. In school, we were always taught, when in doubt, cut it out. So you always want to, don't be afraid to take a little bit of, of foliage off the tree. Here, none of these plants, branches will come up into a single stem anymore, or into a multiple stem. You cut them back, this stem will dominate. Here on the Green Giant, we're going to do the same thing. Just This is a fairly full plant, so we're just going to tip it back all the way around to make a nice, fat, heavy plant. On Green Giants, 
you get a lot of vigorous growth, so you always want to make sure you just knock your tips back just a little bit because they'll stretch out because they grow so fast. And the emerald greens, it's a much fatter, fuller plant, so you don't have to shear them nearly as hard. Just tip them back, go around the plant. And again, you have a couple little stems developing here. Just trim it back so you just have one stem coming up to the top. And that'll make a nice full plant, which is what you want. Okay. That's it. Have a good day at Highland Hill Farm. Okay. Thank you very much, Mike. We'll see you. We're here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. This is Michael Hurst. He is the uh, chief propagator here at the Highland Hill Farm. And he's going to tell you about the foliage of the Blue Rug Juniper. All right. Well, that's the Blue Rug Juniper. You can see it. It's got a nice lush green new growth on it. It's kind of more bluish. As the rain goes through the winter, it turns a uh, darker green color. So you can tell what time of year it is by just looking at the tree. It doesn't get too tall, it's more of a sprawler when it, grew, when it grows. It does get a little bit of height, maybe six, eight inches at max. It's known for growing down walls, and you can see it growing down areas of your yard where you don't want to mow, you just put a whole bunch of this in and you won't have to mow it again. It's uh, relatively hardy. It's supposed to go in dry areas. Well, it's, it can take drier areas, more or less. And for trimming, most, if you're going to do anything with trimming, you just trim these leaders that come out just to make it a fuller plant. Anything else you shouldn't really touch on. Okay, is it deer resistant? I believe it is deer resistant. I don't think a deer would eat that. Yeah, they don't like that, do they? Nope. And one thing you shouldn't plant when you have a juniper is an apple tree because you get the cedar apple yeah. rust. Yeah. So when you're doing your landscape design, just bear that in mind. If you have junipers on your property, stay away from apple trees, and then you'll avoid all the problems of cedar apple rust. Yeah. And so, Michael, uh, you're a graduate. Where did you go to school? I went to Delaware Valley College. In we have this program, and I graduated last year. Yep, we have a qualified staff here at Highland Hill Farm. Michael went to Delval College and graduated with a degree in horticulture. His brother did the same. His brother graduated with a degree in floriculture. And they do the deliveries and plantings all up and down the East Coast. Tell the tell the YouTube audience uh, where you've been this last week. Oh, well, I was forced to go up to Massachusetts. That was like seven hours away. I also went up to Albany this last week. Uh, a couple, like two weeks ago, I went down to Virginia. And uh, last week, was it two weeks ago, I got put week and going out to Pittsburgh. So I've been all over. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much. Our website is seedlingsrus.com, <laughs> and we're here in Fountainville, PA. You can call us at 215-651-8329, or you can uh, just uh, get, come and visit us. We're, our phone number is 215-651-8329 or seedlingsrus.com.